Hey everyone, what's up? It is Young Pro Pro here, and uh, I want to apologize because I'm not able to talk properly at the moment. I have an infected tooth and it hurts really bad. That being said, I made an awesome public quest script for you guys, and this is how it works. Very, very cool. You press Q and you can uh, see all your quests here, but if you haven't unlocked it yet, it's a question mark. So you uh, see if like you can see the quest, decline it, and it's still unlocked. But you can accept the quest, and you can see the uh, how cool it is over here. You got the description, you got the minimum level requirement here. And the uh, the title of it, which is picking herbs, and, uh, and once you accept it, you can also uh, you can end the quest if you want to. But once you've already accepted it, it's here. Now, while it's accepted, you can actually uh, you select it and you can do the quest menu. Um, I'm going to before I make it public, I'm going to add a little thing where you can press X or back, like uh, maybe or you no, know, maybe I'll just use uh, press E to close the. The quest window. I don't, know, I, mean, I don't know how I'll do that yet. But anyway, talk to him again and uh, complete the quest. Yay, we got all the uh, information. Now. But he repeats the word thanks. That's because I didn't <laughs> edit the event. Now, how this works it looks intimidating, but in the description, okay, there is uh, a form of this where you can copy and paste and you can edit it from there. I really recommend doing that. Uh, matter of fact, I want you to do that because it makes it a whole lot easier. Just simply replace the zeros with a higher number every quest you make. If you if you do the same number, like if it's zero between the little half square things each and every single time, well, uh, it's not gonna turn out too well. Quest name is the title of the quest. Description, this is the description. You can have multiple lines, as you can see here. Uh, quest gold, this is the amount you, uh, you gain, and that's the uh, EXP, and that's the minimum level requirement. And uh, this is the item that you get, potion. Um, in the location, hometown, the person who sent the quest to you, the name, uh, the maximum variable, uh, which is three, so we need three of whatever the variable is, in our case it's herbs. The simple description is the little tiny text thing that appears in the help window um, and in the uh, little progress thing. The complete switch is whenever you complete the quest, it'll turn this switch on. So it'll turn switch number one on. You also want to change this for every quest that you make as well. Make sure you're not uh, turning on a switch that you use for other events as well. Quest ID equals zero. This is very important. Make sure your quest ID is equal to the same number in little half squares. And then type scene manager call, and then you can just copy and paste this part. Uh, again, I do apologize. I, it hurts a real like when I talk. I'm trying to get through this. Uh, the code is copy and paste, so in the link, or in the description, there's a link to a um, paste bin thing where you can just copy all this code here, and you can you can configure it a little bit here, change the icons, and the uh, X and Y position of the uh, thing. This also doesn't work yet. Look forward to uh, more stuff in the future. I may do an update on this. But yeah, let me know in the uh, comments what you guys think, and I'll see you all later. Thank you all so very much for watching. Oh yeah, oops, oops, I forgot. I did not finish, uh, hmm, yeah thing is so you want to make another event page with a switch that you're that uh, in this case one because you can see right here it uh, triggers the first switch so you want to select switch number one now if that's on he says thanks and you get the rewards you have to do this manually of course so you give the item that you said you were gonna give and you get the experience and the gold or I uh, did a little bit backwards <laughs> yeah you get the experience and gold and then you have some text there and then you control cell switch you turn a on and then on self switch A, that's where you have both of these checked, or just one of them. And as long as you have self switch A checked, it doesn't really matter. And then that's what he says after everything's done completed. If there are any questions, um, feel free to ask. But yeah, that's that's how this works. It's really really cool. It's a really really cool script. Um, if there are any bugs, let me know in the comments as well. Again, there are some things that are incomplete, and I may do updates on them. Um, yeah, just let me know. Like, for example, right now you're not going to be able to close the help window. I might edit that before I make the... I think I'm going to do that. So, yeah. There we go. We got uh, we got it. And as you can see, we got the gold and our character leveled up. So, I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so very much for watching.